All right, what's good guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be talking to you guys about three very important things. I'm gonna be talking about the most efficient way to sort through a bunch of photos from your party recap, nightclub venue recap, whatever you may call it. I'm gonna show you how to edit those photos. And lastly, I'm gonna tell you guys about the secret platform that I use to share your photos with the client or the people that attended this event in a super fast way and to make sure that you can get these people their photos within 24 hours. Sweet, with that out of the way, let's jump straight in my computer. On the screen, you can see that I took about 3,000 photos over the course of the night. Now, what I want to teach you guys that helps me break down these 3,000 photos to about 300 in just a few minutes is called the five-star Lightroom sorting method. Now that I've uploaded the photos into Lightroom, I'm going to use the arrow keys to move between the photos. And then when I find a photo that stands out, I'm going to click the number five on the keypad. And as you can see here, right on the bottom, it signifies the picture with five stars. This is super important later because what we'll do at the bottom is right here I'll show you guys that we can sort all the photos by rated and it'll be all the ones that I've gone through already and selected with the five stars so these will be all my favorite photos that I want to share with the client and the people who attended the event this is gonna ensure that you're only left with your favorite photos and that you can sort through them all and edit them all in one go in a super organized manner if I go back and I click on zero stars you can see all the 3,000 photos I took here all along the bottom the second I click five stars and I do it by rated only the best photos show up just for the purpose of this video of the 3,000 I picked 20 the actual outcome of this event turned out to be around 200 photos the reason I took so many photos is because of a shutter lag effect that I like to incorporate in my videos I'll show a picture of what that looks like here but with that out of the way we're gonna jump into these 20 photos and we are going to edit them one by one so I can show you guys my editing process now that we have only our best photos chosen utilizing the five star method we can easily edit them all in one shot these photos we're gonna go through are all taken on my 14 to 24 millimeter Sigma art and my 8 millimeter Rokinin lens I've done a video on these as well on my channel and my main body of choice is the Sony a7s 3 hopping into photo number five here we can see that the exposure looks pretty good honestly the photo looks pretty solid right here but what we want to do is definitely throw a little edit on there I have my own little presets that I use I this has been the one that I've been using the most as of recently I like that it has that disposable film greenish in the shadows tints it adds some grain to the photo as well which hides the high ISO levels and whatnot but yeah this was obviously taken with the flash as that preset was a little harsh what I'll do is I'll go into plugin extras and I'll load up my nightclub current and using this plugin I can fade in and out the amount of the preset that I want to be applied 61 looks about right I'm not gonna strictly use my preset for all of the photos I'm gonna show you guys how I edit these photos and how I come up with this preset from the ground up but if you're interested in matching what this preset looks like if I'll scroll through here and you can kind of see what I'm doing I'm making the typical s curve messing around with the colors and we're gonna throw some greens in the shadows and then other than that throw some sharpening forgot to do some some noise reduction on there as well and then let's just go through and all we'll have to do is really adjust these parameters here if we up the exposure we should put the highlights a little lower to combat the flash we can raise the shadows so we can see the people in the back here as well we'll raise the blacks as well lower the whites so that we don't have too many highlights on the people all the way in the front due to the flash we can use the arrow keys to make minute adjustments to the temperature this looks about good let's add a little green that looks about good. This will be the before. This will be the after. You don't want to over edit these photos and give them to the client too much because then they may not want to post them and then you may cause yourself more work and have to unedit them. Hopping into the second photo here, I'm just going to kind of run through that same process with that preset. Let's go here. I've been using it for many, many years and fine tuned it. I love how this looks personally. Same thing, lower the highlights. Let's put the exposure up a bit. Boost the shadows so we can see everybody. We didn't got to do it that much. And lower the whites get rid of some of that over there look at the before and after loving how that looks everybody looks a little extra tan too take down the texture take down the clarity saturation looks about good sometimes if people have a spray tan on you got it we'll go through and we'll add a little noise reduction and then we have the before we have the after love how it looks quick little edit doesn't take too much time let's say we even copy these settings and we paste them to this one applies perfectly so long as you have the flash on the same setting you should be able able to just copy paste them. We can even give this guy a little crop 
Sweet, I feel like that's editing enough photos with my preset. What we'll do now is we'll break down the editing process from the ground up. So starting off here, the white balance looks pretty good. We can probably make this a little warmer. Greens look about good there for now. We can lower the exposure. I'm using the arrow keys to just make my new adjustments onto the photo. Contrast looks about good. We can bump that up just a little bit. Get rid of some of the highlights, some of the harshness of the flash. Bump the shadows, see the people in the background. Move the whites down get the blacks up just a little bit already more of a fine-tuned image bump down the texture get rid of some of the clarity just get rid of that digital look that the camera sometimes provide we can bump down the vibrance the saturation maybe up it just a little bit we'll go for that s curve right here we don't got to do one that's so in depth here in reality we're just adding a little bit more contrast oranges look good we can bring them down just a little bit that looks about fine hopefully these look look good I'm editing on my TV right now which the colors are totally off my computer's a little broken right now so hopefully these are turning out fine granted I did edit these a mad long time ago and I'm just using this for a reference project as I'm back home in Aruba right now greens fine this looks all good loving the look of this add the sharpening little noise reduction guy there boom we get that look. We can copy these settings. You don't even need the preset. Paste them right there. Vibing with that, honestly. Lower the highlights. As you can see, we just went through four or five photos there in a matter of minutes with the use of the preset. Throw it at about 53. If you're wondering the name of that plugin I'm using, it's called the Fader. But from what I understand, Lightroom is coming out with an update soon enough that you won't have to use a preset like that. We can do this. This photo seems to be a little bright. We'll lower the exposure a little more I'm not sure if my TV is the colors are off too much but this looks about right going from looking like the image is super saturated on my TV right now we can lower the vibrance yeah, we will just copy paste. Paste that right there. Good to go. Already another photo done. Once you compound this across all your photos, you'll be done in no time. We got the blues rocking in this one, meaning it's a little cold. We'll warm that photo up just a tad. Add some green in the shadows right here. It's a very subtle adjustment, but we can turn it on and off. Boom, boom. I'm gonna zone in and get all these photos done real quick and then I want to share with you guys the secret platform that I use to make sure we can get these photos to your client within 24 hours, sometimes even 12. Cool, and with that being said, this will wrap up just about the last photo that I'm gonna run through you guys. Hopefully, there were a bunch of different scenarios that I could run you guys through. And what I'll do now is I'll run quickly into this folder, run you through the file structure real quick. If we go here, boom. And here we can see these are the finals that I ended up uploading and sharing to that platform. Dope. So now that you exported all your photos, you have them all organized into one folder. I'm going to jump into step three with you guys, sharing these photos and making sure that the client has them, the people have them. They can download them, they can share them, they can post them on social media platforms. I promise you this is insanely user friendly and the solution to this is a website called Pixie Set. Now what you can do is you can take your photos, upload them into an album. I'm letting this one load from Tommy's right here. It'll give you a link that you can share all your edited photos that you put into that same folder 240 on if we go to share you can see it comes out with a cool little link if we do 
get direct link and we copy it just so you guys can see this is what the client would see anybody opening up their phone and or this laptop that has this link you can see all the photos here my favorite part about this is that the client can go here download it add their email and it will get immediately downloaded or let's say you're this group of people you're in the photo you can download the photo as well just throw in your email and it's as simple as that super user friendly everybody has access to the link and everybody can go and download this photo without having to ask for permission and if you want to see what it looks like from my side what we can do is we'll go create a new collection you add the photos here drag them in you can go here you can create a cover photo just like that one that we saw right here super professional looks clean they have all kinds of templates that you can utilize here make it different you have all kinds of access to privacy if you don't want people to download the photos if you want to just do it with clients i've done it plenty of times with like graduation photo shoots as you can see i just compiled all the photos here for the client as well that wraps up my entire workflow from start to finish if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to drop a thumbs up that would be greatly appreciated and if you guys want me to share this preset with you that i have leave a comment down below and i'll make sure to send you an email with my preset and or I'll just throw it up on my website so that everybody can download it. Other than that, feel free to check out the other videos on my channel. They're equally as helpful as this one. Until next time, guys. Thanks again. Peace.